Hello, 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 welcome back to the channel. So let's continue our previous video and do one question on calculating the definite integral of the form tan to the power nx. And in order to calculate that, we'll again use the reduction formula that we proved in the last video. So if you have not watched my previous video, I would highly suggest you to first watch my previous video in order to get full idea about the formula that we will be using in order to calculate the integral over here, which is of the form tan to the power nx dx. So now, since we proved in the last video by substitution that if we have to calculate or simplify the integral of tan to the power nx dx, the formula is basically tan to the power n minus 1x upon n minus 1 minus integral tan to the power n minus 2x dx over here. And the reason why it's simpler because now you have reduced your tan to the power nx to simply calculating the integral of tan to the power n minus 2 x dx and again if you want to solve for this indefinite integral you can again use the same reduction formula but this time your power will be changed to n minus 2 x dx right so let's see how we can calculate the integral of the definite integral of tan to the power 6 x dx in this case so in this question to, in order to simplify this question let's calculate the integral the indefinite integral of tan to the power 6 x and then we'll plug in the endpoints in order to get the final answer right so now if we solve for integral the indefinite integral of tan to the power 6x dx let's use the reduction formula now so the first expression would be tan to the power n minus 1 n is 6 so tan to the power 5x upon n minus 1 which would again be 6 minus 1 and the 5 in the denominator now this expression will be changed to calculating the indefinite integral of tan to the power 4x dx over here, right? And again, let's use the reduction formula. Tan to the power 5x upon 5 minus, this can be written as tan to the power n minus 1 again. So 3x upon 3, because n is 4 in this case. So n minus 1 is 3, and the same thing in the denominator. Then again, subtracting the integral of tan square x dx over here, right? And now let's again use the same reduction formula over here to calculate the indefinite integral one last time. So when we do that, our answer would be tan to the power 5x upon 5 minus tan cube x upon 3 minus, this will be transformed to tan x upon 1 minus integral tan to the power 0 because n minus 2 x dx right so tan to the power 0 x which is 1 and then dx over here 1 bracket and then 2 bracket over here so now let's calculate this integral over here which is very easy over here right the integral of dx is basically x and then when we will get rid of all the integral expressions in this expression we can add the constant of integration so let's write this expression again it would simply be tan to the power 5x divided by 5 minus tan cube x by 3 minus tan x plus x and then plus the constant of integration let's again further simplify this expression so this expression would be tan to the power 5x upon 5 minus tan cube x by 3 minus sorry plus tan x minus x plus the constant of integration right and now when we have to calculate the integral of tan to the power 6x dx from x equals 0 to x equals pi by 4 in order to do that we'll first substitute pi by 4 in this expression over here and then subtract it by substituting x equals 0 in this expression, the same expression over here, right? The same thing that we have been doing in order to calculate our definite integrals when we had indefinite integrals present, right? So if we substitute x equals pi by 4 over here, we know that tan of pi by 4 is 1 and tan of 0 is 0 over here, right? So let's first substitute the upper endpoint in this case. If we substitute the upper endpoint, it would be tan to the power 5 of pi by 4, which is again 1 by 5, minus again the same thing, tan pi by 4 is 1. So tan cube of pi by 4 would also be 1, right? So the second expression would be 1 by 3. And then tan pi by 4, which is 1, 
minus pi by 4 plus the constant of integration, right? And then we have to subtract it with the expression that we'll get by substituting x equals 0 in this expression, right? And we know that tan of 0 is 0. So this term will become 0. This will be 0. This will be 0. And this would also be 0. The only thing that will be left is the constant of integration. So we'll subtract the constant of integration as well. And now if you calculate the final answer, you can simply cancel these two constant of integration. And your final answer would be 1 by 5 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 minus pi by 4. You can leave your answer as it is, or you can also simplify this answer over here. But this would be your final answer to the integral of tan to the power 6x dx from x equals 0 to x equals pi by 4. So that's it for this video. Again, the main takeaway from this video is on how we can use the reduction formula in order to simplify our indefinite integrals or definite integrals of the form tan to the power nx dx in this case. So feel free to comment down in this video if you have any doubts. Follow the channel in order to get notified about the other videos that I'll be uploading. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.